Is this Lotus Amira listed on Bring a Trailer the car you get because it's better than a Boxster? Or are you an idiot for even comparing the two? Let's find out. No! Big Nerds is your daily YouTube car game show where we predict the online auction results of the most interesting cars on Bring a Trailer, Cars and Bids, Haggerty Marketplace, and more. It's just like the Price is Right game show. Play along and see if you can beat the nerds. JP, the very first Lotus Emira first edition with the V6 and a six-speed manual, 2024, is on Bring a Trailer. This is the first one to grace uh, the pages of Bring a Trailer. Our car is located in Fort Myers, <laughs> Florida, and is showing just 71 miles, which is probably uh, equal to delivery miles or whatever it took to get it home. Um, what's interesting, JP, there's a guy... Uh, that showed up at a couple of car events I went to over the weekend that's got a car essentially just like this. Um, and he bought it out of stake. I think he got it in Ohio. And what he was saying to the small crowd of people that were clamored around his car to see it was that the cars that were earmarked for California did not meet California's ever stringent whatever it was. And, um, and so those cars were being held up in Great Britain. And so the reason why he got his car was because he had ordered it out of state. He also said, went on to say that the cars that Lotus is delivering first are the V6 Toyota platform cars. These are the supercharged 3.5 liter V6s. These cars make 400 horsepower Ooh. and 317 pound foot of torque. These are rear wheel drive, six speed manual cars. Um, these are kind of the performance ones. Later cars uh, will be offered with the AMG four-cylinder turbo, the inline turbo that makes 300-plus horsepower, um, but those will only be offered with VCTs, dual-clutch transmissions. Um, so I think as a driver's car, JP, I love that Lotus made this and that they're selling it at a, let's just call it a reasonable price. These cars are essentially $100,000, maybe a little bit more. Um, but what you're getting here is something that is, I think, pretty close to what the original NSXs were, which were, you know, mid-engine, rear-wheel drive, two-seat sports cars that were all about uh, driving feel and engagement rather than out-and-out -out performance. So I like these cars. I think they're really pretty in person. Um, you know, they do lack the feel and the touch of the cars that we grew up on, JP, when we were kids, like that 993 we covered recently. Um, but I think in today's market where so many things are turbocharged and all wheel drive and heavy as hell and, and floppy paddle gearboxes, I love that there's somebody out there that's making an ice engine, rear wheel drive, six speed manual, uh, mid engine sports car. And you don't have to spend 250, $300,000 or get in line for three years to uh, get one. So uh, I offer to you, JP, I think you and Rami may have test driven a car like this uh, some time ago. So you may have more experience with the car than I do. Uh, JP, what do you think of the Lotus Emira? Take it, uh, yay or nay? What do you think? Uh, Rami and I did get to test drive one of these at our friends over at uh, Vegas Auto Gallery, and I I think it's a spectacular car. Um, it looks great on the road, uh, but having three pedals and being able to flick the gears, uh, this car is light. It does all the things that you want it to do uh, like no other car really does anymore. It's kind of a shame. You're absolutely right. Nobody makes anything like this. A lot of people were at that test drive event uh, coming there to kind of compare the car uh, to like a boxer spider or something like that yeah. uh, or a 718 spider. And I just don't think they're even remotely on the same category. They're just not like you get into a Porsche and you definitely feel like there's more car when you're in the Porsche. There's just like more stuff. Everything feels more together. Everything feels more buttoned up. This car is definitely, you can feel that it's, not as Middle refined. List. It's uh, yeah. There's not a lot. Go I mean, it's basically the chassis, the engine, a seat, and your butt. Uh, yeah. And, I, and that's what I like about it. I mean, I the the only thing is that I'd be like, you know, how well will this car hold up? It yeah. does not really. Uh, you know, it yes. it doesn't. You know, it doesn't inspire confidence in its long term. Uh, you know, in its long term. You know whether or not the thing's going to be real reliable. JP, or not. come on, yeah, that thing for it, could Dave. barely huh? take one test drive with me. Barely. What's that? It barely could take one test drive with me. Did you break it? I don't yeah, remember you yeah. breaking. Did you remember it was smoking? No, that was the uh, that was the Evora. 
This is the oh, this is the um, this is the really. brand new oh. one. Uh, yeah, and the, yeah, the Evora we drove exactly was the, the same. was the sh- no, they don't. No, they don't. They don't. You know what that they, thing? They, you know what this yeah, one looks like? Yeah. What is this thing called? Gamera, Gamera? What? What is it's it? It's a good evolution. Of, it yeah. looks like it looks like a McLaren and a and a Mazda had a baby. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's a that's, little, that's, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah like a ma- like a Miata and a McLaren <laughs> yes. uh, yeah. got it on. I think totally. that's that's yeah. pretty solid yeah. take right there. Yeah. What do we think was on top? Perfect. It's uh, you know I think it's just a stunning looking car. I think what's you look at the shape and it's so beautiful, but in real life it's kind of small. Um, (laughs) Anthony, what do you think of these? Have you gotten a chance to drive one or see one in person yet? Yeah, I I have seen one. I I have not driven one. Um, I'm with Rami. No, I I would pass on this. Uh, It's like you went to every better built car in this price range and you said no i'd rather have something more risky Mm. and uh just really flimsy and Mm. it's a lotus they're they haven't changed i i the evora was (laughs) totally you know what it stands you know what lotus stands for yeah lots Lots of of trouble trouble, usually usually serious serious. (laughs) for a reason (laughs) um so no no, i'd pass thank you it's not the best looking car it is it is an evolution of like that's definitely a lotus i i mean there's no way i would choose this over if i'm like cayman s or cayman gts shopping mm. there's no way i'm i'm taking this over that but uh, uh can i ask a question yeah. could you could you take this car and turn it into a track car yeah I mean, it is yeah, a track it is that's all it is yeah that's what it's yeah, for yeah. Yeah. yeah is that's what it's for okay yeah, yeah. I kinda, yeah. The, the, it's a, for a cheap track car that would be great but it's not that cheap. But it's not cheap. <laughs> I know, yeah. that's the yeah. problem. I, I, I a own a cheap track car, a GR86, yes, you do. 30 grand. That's not a yeah, cheap yeah. track car. Uh, the the Toyota is a better car. It, yeah. It, it's it's going to be more... What Toyota? Like you know, a, the, the G- didn't, yeah. you, didn't you say you had a GR86? Yeah, so a GR86, yeah. 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 That's no way is that a better car. That's got the flat four from a Subaru. That thing blows up all the time. Sorry, Buddha. Yeah, it does but, not blow up all <laughs> and the they, time. And they that, don't even warranty back. them. Take and everyone's ishing all over the hey, Lotus, and they're take blowing up at the it, track, and they're not warranting. Fake, fake news. <laughs> fake news. <laughs> fake news. Take, take even, that back. Even with a blown up uh, flat four, you could sell it on Facebook Marketplace for way more than it's actually worth because... Yeah, $58. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> what it costs new. Yeah. This Evora has the same, you know, it has the same Toyota in this, right? Yes. Um, and I, I just who? Well, but hold on, hold on. This is a Toyota engine, whereas right. the right. engine in the in the is in a the Subaru. CR is a Subaru right. engine. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I just my question is, who outside of the UK grew up going? I want a Lotus. <laughs> um, the passion has to be there, and to me. These cars give me no passion, no fizz, no interest. It's kind of like a like a biology teacher. You're like, yeah, okay, cool. You know your stuff, but it's just it's just a car with a Toyota engine in it, in my opinion. And that's where if you buy a Cayman or you buy a Cayman S, and you can look at it and you can go, yeah, it's got the pedigree. It's 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 a Porsche and it's built well and it's got a flat six and mm. you know. This they have flat four, sorry. Well, flat four, well, right. I, I said Cayman, not seven eighteen. <laughs> we're we're on different cars. So we're talking. Well, okay, but then all right, that's an interesting take because now we're not ta- again. We're not talking apples to apples here. We're talking about a f- six or seven year old uh, car versus a brand new car because the Caymans all have the fours. Uh, not anymore. All the, se- well, all the seven eighteens have fours. Not all seven. The GTS. The GTS, GTS has a four has liter. Let's six. The yeah, bl- this would be a, a good brand comp- new one. Uh, yep. Yeah, and that yep. car is what one forty one something. Not no. even. No. No. Are they, no. Are they, are no. Are no. Sure? no. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. For a yeah, GTS with the four liter. Yeah. Anybody's people are yeah. people yeah. getting the uh, one? I don't even think you can get any. I mean, because one, they're not bringing any more in. They stopped making well, that, all the that, 718s. Well, that's huh. a fair take, JP. Yeah. Getting one might be hard, but the guy that had the car at the the show I saw over the weekend, mm-hmm. um. <laughs> He ordered his car like 23 months ago. So and he, he waited got, two yeah. years for his Lotus, and you <laughs> yeah. might be waiting for the next generation yeah, well of said, the Cayman well or whatever. True. So, right. yeah. you know, well uh, quick yeah. hot tip for everyone out there uh, Porsche Boise right now has a uh, um, current generation GT4 in white. Nice. And they want 132 for it. Mm. So, I. 
I, it's pretty good. Yeah, GT4, so, yeah, not an RS, just the just just regular, regular GT4. Yeah, regular GT4. I mean, Manual? Fan, mm. Yeah, fantastic mm. car. Wow. Right? Yeah. yeah. And at 132000 you know, uh, that's what I'm saying. The passion for a Porsche is there. It's built in. You can look at the heritage. And yeah, I, I just don't think Lotus is the same Lotus of the vintage cars. The, you know, after the Exige, when they came out with the Evora, I think they started making something they don't make. And that's Isn't that what, what Lotus always does. Well, well, no, yeah. but I, I think Lotus always made a really lightweight sports car. Yeah. Yeah. And when you look at these, they're trying to make a, a competitive car to a Cayman right. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, well said. And that's I don't think point. that's what Lotus makes. And when I look at that, I just see nice try. Yeah, when you got into Avora, yeah. there was no illusion that you were in a nice car. This was no. a this was a tool for going to the track. I think they are trying to make that a little nicer. I will say these are going to be hot for a minute because you can't mm. get them right, right now. Right. So this is, I think, Deep said this is the first one on back. Yep. So it'd be interesting yep. to see if, it it is. Is, if this will. Because some of the other hot shit stuff, I mean, cyber trucks, they're not bringing a premium anymore. So it's something like this. Don't get JP started on the cyber Sorry. truck. <laughs> oh God! Yeah. What? Wait, what? Why are you dropping in my ish? I didn't say anything about cyber truck. All right, what do we you think this thing's gonna bring? Oh my God! Has anyone watched the last couple shows? Yeah. I mean, you were all over the cyber <laughs> truck. Love cyber truck. <laughs> buy the dip. Buy yeah. the dip. Buy the dip. To, to summarize Anthony's point, even James Bond doesn't drive a Lotus. <laughs> No, not anymore. He yeah. drives the worst All car. right. So these uh, totally. Prius yeah, Emira. It's prettier than any Aston. That's better looking. Yeah. yeah. Well, so the, the Prius Emira, yeah, our know. car is like currently Prius sitting at $101,000 Whoa. On, on 18 bids. Our car had a sticker price of $97,650. So it's already four grand over sticker, but um, he's not whole yet if he paid, you know, 10% for tax and Taxes. tags. Um, it seems that some of these cars have been trading um, in that hundred and eight to hundred and ten thousand dollar range. I've seen some comps in that range, but this is the first one on BAT, and I feel like on BAT somebody may overpay for it. So I'm going to go just a little bit over what the first one seemed to have transacted for, and I'm going to go one hundred and twelve thousand dollars where it will sell. JP, I send it back to you. It's at one hundred one, and it's closing tomorrow. Um, you show up in any Cayman, uh, or Boxster, uh, other than a GT4 or GT4 RS and nobody, nobody, nobody cares. cares. Like it is just like, in fact, all your friends will make fun of you. And I hate to admit they're fantastic cars, but if you own one, everyone's going, oh, you couldn't afford the 911. Got it. Mm -hmm. Got it. That is, that's what they're saying. Whether you want to believe it or admit to yourself or not, that's what's happening. This car, on the other hand, you roll up somewhere and everyone's going, oh, wow, that thing's at least kind of cool. Let's check it out. Anthony, I think you need to drive one and it'll be interesting to see what happens if that changes your opinion or not. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but it certainly changed mine. I didn't like the Evora. Um, the Evora, everything that was wrong with that car, I believe, was taken care of in this car from style, from the way it drives, from the way everything about this car. I love, I think it is a striking car in person. Uh, it has a inexpensive, exotic way about it. This car was supposed to be 70 grand though. Uh, so the fact that it's up here in the, you know, hundred, uh, that is where it starts to be a problem. If this were a 70 or $80,000 car, uh, the boxer would be have a problem because the boxers are all four cylinders, right? This is a six cylinder. That's actually reliable uh, in long term. It's probably going to have like, start to have like electronic problems, but I think the powertrain wise is probably going to be fine. Uh, the number though is the big question. D what was your number? 112. I changed it from 120 down to 112. Yeah, I think this car is the current hotness. Um, you know, they because they couldn't get past the port, I know that the local dealership had like a dozen of them stacked up in a back room because they couldn't deliver them. But I think they are finally allowed to like give them out to people. Uh, so at the moment, like the Cybertruck for a nanosecond, it's going to bring a premium. Uh, I'll go to buck 15, uh, you know, but also like the Cybertruck, I think in a month or two, these are going to yeah, be it's over. under MSRP. <laughs> this this car is having Definitely. its moment right this second. And this car, this Which color is looks really good. Yeah. We're Which also, is what Buddha said. Yeah. Also yeah. like Buddha that. Said. Yeah. Also like the Cybertruck was supposed to be 70 grand. So right. Exactly. Of, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Rami, what do you think where, this car is going to bring? Where is it at right now? It's at 101. 108. 
That's where. 108. I, I, okay, 108. we're all kind of. Uh, yeah, so we don't think it's gonna. Have, you got. You guys don't think it's gonna have a big <laughs> late stage rally like a lot no. of cars do on BAT. I don't uh, think so. Anthony, where are you at? I think it's gonna have a big rally. Yeah. Um, I think this is the one that's available. I think yep. someone is going to pay a hundred and twenty thousand dollars for it, <laughs> and I think all of his friends should tell him. For fourteen grand more, you could have got a GT4. <laughs> yeah, solid. And uh, I'm gonna go a hundred and twenty thousand and one dollar. Hundred twenty one dollar. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, I think this car is like gonna be a great. Like, I want one of these next year when they are seventy grand. I think that's gonna be the time to buy yeah. one of these. Then it's yeah. gonna be a fantastic value. But right now, it's just way overpriced. Great car, but not really. Uh, It'll be interesting to watch. Yeah, 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 for sure. Hey, guys, I got to tell you about our friends, God and Porsche of Las Vegas and God and Classic. If you're looking for a new Porsche or a classic, you've got to call our friend Steve at God and this guy. 1989 linen gray metallic G50 cab. Is that going to be for sale? It is going to be for sale. Uh, the car only has 65,000 miles. Away. Save yourself the hassle of screwing around with all the auctions like we always talk about and just talk to Steve. He'll find you the classic Porsche you're looking for. God and Porsche of Las Vegas. Hey guys, you're probably looking at your watch and wondering if bid nerds will ever end. So you better talk to our friends at Our Smiths to make sure your Rolex, Tag Heuer, AP, or any fine timepiece is in tip top shape. Our Smiths, fine Swiss repair. Several days later. Our car is on Bring a Trailer, JP, uh, showing essentially delivery miles with just 71 miles on this first edition out of Fort Myers, Florida, again on Bring a Trailer. So here's the deal, JP. Just a recap for everybody that may have missed the um, when we covered the car a couple days ago. Um, the very first Emiras are landing from the UK in the United States. The one that they're releasing first are V6s with manual transmissions. Um, the other ones that are going to come later have an AMG four-cylinder turbo that makes like 300 horsepower, and those cars only come with a dual-clutch transmission and a paddle shifter. Um, so if you're looking for a six-speed manual, this is your Huckleberry, and these cars are in all of the states in the United States except the one that this guy lives in. Uh, for whatever reason, whatever the special thing they have to do for California um, smog and stuff like that, uh, it's not. It hasn't been done yet, and so the California cars are being held back. So the ones that you see on the ground in California were ordered out of state. So this car is in Florida. It's amongst the first ones to arrive. We wondered if people would pay a premium for these cars in the secondary market. So to start with a little bit of context, this car MSRP was ninety seven thousand six hundred and fifty dollars. Um, add basically eleven percent for tax and tags, and you're right around one hundred eight thousand dollars for this car out the door. So JP, I started the bidding at 112, saying it'll bring a premium, but I don't think this is a hundred twenty-five thousand dollar car in the secondary market. Nobody's going to go make twenty grand on these things, um, and I do think there's plenty of them coming in, despite them not being available in California. John, you still took the over at one hundred fifteen thousand dollars. Rami was under me at one hundred eight. Anthony was a high man at one hundred twenty, and uh, Buddha took the over. On Anthony at one hundred and twenty thousand one dollars, <laughs> um, Randy B is on, but I don't see the bids for this, so we will jump right to the result. JP, our car did sell for one hundred and thirteen thousand dollars on a respectable twenty-five bids. I missed the Yahtzee by a thousand bucks, so I'll take the win on that one, uh, which is good because I haven't had a win in like I don't know since the Reagan administration. <laughs> but anyway, um, JP. <sighs> Explain to me what you think the person who sold this car is feeling, right? Like, chances are that this guy would have ordered this car nearly two years ago. The guy who I saw that had one had ordered his car like 20 months earlier. So, like, you know, more than a year and a half ago. His car comes in, he gets it from out of state, and he's driving around California, he's enjoyed it. This other guy probably ordered his car a year and a half ago. His car comes in, and he says, I think I'm gonna make some money. And he goes to bring a trailer and he takes some nice pictures and he puts it up there. It doesn't even have a hundred miles on it, which means he hasn't really enjoyed the car at all. And then he sells it for what I'm addressing as roughly four thousand dollars, five thousand dollars over what he paid for it. Doesn't that seem like a long time to hang up your money on a deposit and wait for this thing to come in? And then it's gorgeous, and you're like, I'm gonna get rich. I mean, it's possible that he just had to back out of it because he couldn't afford to keep the car. 
Uh, but chances are, I think we're going to see a lot of Lotuses, just like we're seeing a lot of name whatever the new car is that just hit the road. Cyber everybody... truck. Cyber, truck. Cyber trucks, yeah. Cyber trucks are running through the gamut. You and I both sort of agree that they that the big values on those have kind of jumped the shark and the values will depress. These cars have really just hit the road and you can barely get five grand over. What, what I mean, everybody else, I think, would, would read the writing on the wall and say, I've got a firm grip on my car. I wouldn't run the risk of burning it on, on uh, an auction platform because it may not sell for profit and... Uh, an auction platform may not give me a reserve that would protect an equitable return. So I, I just, this is kind of a bummer for me because I think they're special cars. I like it as much as you do. I know you really like this car. I think this is a fantastic driving car, uh, but I also don't think that uh, the Lotus brand is something you can speculate with. So what do you, what do you think's going on through this poor guy's head? Because he certainly didn't make any money. Well, I mean, it's what was going on in his head two years ago is really the factor, right? I mean, in, in 2022, yeah. there was so much m free money floating around. Interest rates were, you know, basically nothing. Um, and remember when this car was announced um, before it was available to actually even put a deposit on, it was like supposed to be a 70 something thousand dollar car, right. maybe an $80,000 car. Uh, and then, you know, they said, okay, we're taking deposits and they bumped the price up to 90 something, almost a hundred. Um, and at that point, uh, during 2022 that, you know, I'm old enough to remember that, uh, people were paying a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars on top uh, for GT3s, you know, and, and other yeah. special Porsches. People were paying ridiculous amounts of money to get whatever the latest thing was. Everyone was shouting silliness about, um, you know, production line problems and supply chain issues and blah, 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 blah. And this car, um, really, it, I mean, on paper represents a hell of a value in this kind of like in the sports car world. There's nothing else really yeah. out there like this. We saw one uh, up on the crest this weekend, yeah. uh, you know, mm -hmm. and placed you know, with a placed with an influencer. It wasn't his car. He was lent that car by by Lotus to go, you know, talk it up. Yeah, whatever. It was sitting there next to its competition, you know, well, a they GTS. Were doing, yeah. uh, and that, they were filming videos. That, so they were doing a back-to-back -back with this Lotus, which is the first one I've seen, mm -hmm. and they had a Boxer GTS. So yeah. that's actually, yeah. I think, a good question. I mean, Fair comp. Yeah. And, and, and me, I, it, you know, if I had the money, I'm taking the Boxer GTS. J just Actually, I've never driven either of them, but just, <laughs> just on on – Looking at both cars and sitting in both of them and seeing them, I just uh, so where are you guys going to land on that? If you've got that money, are you taking this or a GTS Boxer? I mean, if you want to be invisible and you want to have arguably maybe the better car, then you get the uh, you get the Boxer that nobody cares about at all. Like no one that that car may as well have been a Camry. And yeah. that's ironic, given that the Lotus that was getting everyone's attention has a Camry engine, Camry motor. Uh, yeah. You know, so um, uh, uh, having Zing. having driven both of them, uh, I'm taking the Lotus all day, every day till Sunday. It's less money than a new GTS. Um, yeah. You know, if you can get one of these for list price, uh, I'm taking yep. this car all day. It is so much fun. It is not a Boxster. Uh, and that's a good thing. It, it, it's not a boxer in any way, and it feels like it. And, and look, I like the boxer. Uh, you know, lots of lots of journalists. You know, what is it? Matt Ferris says the best car ever. Blah blah blah. The spider. Um, you can make that argument, but there's something. This car feels special. The uh, the Lotus just that looks like an exotic car. It just does. Whereas when you if you get a GT4 Cayman. It looks like a regular Cayman. Most with people don't with it. a wing on it or something right. like that. Yeah. Even a GT4 RS doesn't have the presence as this, uh, you know, the most basic Lotus Amira. Uh, and I said it to everyone who would listen. Why would anyone listen to me? But, you know, everyone compares this car to the Evora, which is what this is a, you know, it's basically the next generation of the Evora. And everything that they got wrong with the Evora, they... They fixed um, with yeah, this yeah. car from a styling point of view, from a handling point of view, from a driving. Like the interior in this thing is awesome. They got rid of those back two seats, and you know, you just look. You want to be seen in this car, and and you want to be seen around it. Whereas the Boxster, uh, whoopity do, you've got a Boxster get in line with a million other people. <laughs>
I mean, and, and that, okay, you know, maybe that doesn't matter to you. Maybe you just want the better car. Okay, that makes sense. I, I wouldn't begrudge someone picking the GTS. I wouldn't make fun of them. I wouldn't think less of them. And just for me, I want the cooler car. And I think performance-wise, they're pretty darn close. Maybe uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, that video, what they say ultimately the per, uh, performance uh, comparison actually is when you put the two together. But uh uh, it looks better in person than, than than in the pictures. I mean, the pictures look great, but in person, it really is. It's a gorgeous, yeah. It's striking. It's a, and, yeah, it looks they, like a little supercar. I mean, it really yeah. does. Yeah. There were yeah. some there were some insane cars in that in that parking lot up on top of the crest, and that oh, and uh, and we that, were late. The, they, yeah, the lot yeah. was essentially empty. Yeah. I mean, how many cars when we drove up twenty at, in the, at the late morning? Oh, I think I think we saw more than fifty cars come down the mountain fly. Oh. Past us, yeah, Fine. going back down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah good yeah, yeah. good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great yeah. drive, guys. Yeah. All right, let us know what you guys think of the new Lotus Amira. Uh, did they get everything right? Is this the car to save Lotus? And is it better than any version of the Boxer or Cayman? Uh, or not? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Hey, guys, thanks for watching this clip of the Bid Nerds podcast. Play along with us live every Sunday and Wednesday night at 6.30 p.m. on YouTube and see if your bids stack up to the the rest of the nerd herd in the chat live. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you on the next episode. No!